Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some EU4. This time, as Provence, we're going to be starting a new series, if you haven't noticed already. And we are going for the Good King Rene achievement here. Let's see here. Good King Rene. So, uh, it will be earned when is Jerusalem. <laughs> so basically, the requirements are that we are playing as, starting as Provence, and we form the Kingdom of Jerusalem, which I believe is actually just a button click. So, yeah, so we just have to um, own these three cores over here. In modern day, it's like Israel and Gaza, uh, the Gaza Strip. So like this area over here, starting as Provence. So this is Provence at uh, 1440. And uh, we are not in a good economic situation. We can rival a couple of people here. We are allied to France, which is nice. So I'm actually going to Royal Marry him to get um, solidified. Let's get our trade ships out. Protecting trade. But I'm actually going to split off. Um, let me see here. How do I do this? Is there a split button for this? Or is it just armies? Yeah, it is. Okay. Can't do it because it's uh, doing a mission. Right. Okay, so we'll cut off two of you guys and have you hunt pirates in Genoa, just so I don't have to deal with that crap. Because uh, Tunis is going to be devastating my lands, which is going to piss me off. We are going to turn off our forts, and we are going to mothball our army. So we actually got rid of the outliner there. Um, our rivals are going to be Switzerland, Brittany, Teutons. I guess I don't really care a whole lot about Teutons. Like, why would they be... That doesn't even make sense. Okay, um, so thinking Savoy is a good one. Brittany, we can rival back. That's fine. And then um, Switzerland, maybe we could get an early <clears throat> uh, humiliate on, which would be cool. Though maybe rivaling England would be best for French French relations. So we are going to do that, actually. Um, that being said, we still don't have a whole lot of money. Let's do our estate clicks here. Uh, we're going to definitely be taking this province, so we're going to need to revoke that. But I can't give them anything quite yet. So I guess we're going to wait on those. Um, I will do this click first, though. And then we are going to switch over to mill. <laughs> our air is really bad. But I don't have the um, prestige to look into that. So we want to ally him or him or both. I think ideally we need to get relations up with the Emperor first. We are going to be hostile to you. And we are also going to build a spy network. So the idea is, is we are going to use France to attack Aragon. So my opening strat, I guess I explain that. The opening strategy is... Um, we take Provence, um, this army, and we attack and try to get a couple of points for participation to get enough favors to get an offensive call to arms for France against Aragon. That way we can maybe take and release um, Catalonia as a subject, which would be really nice. But the big thing is, is we need to get some um, islands down here. I'm not so sure. I mean, I, I'm fairly certain that this achievement can be reached here before like 1500 if you really wanted to because there is no tech requirement it's literally just a button click as long as you have a couple of cores that being said i'm not in a huge rush i want to have fun with it uh, see if we can do some fun stuff with it right so let us get a couple more men in our army build up the force limit there we go um cannot afford any guys so we will eventually work our way down here into Provence. England is no longer a valid rival. Feels bad, man. Burgundy is, though. So we will rival Burgundy. He's a, he's a chump. So I think the next ally I really... Ooh. Hello. Oh, no! You son of a gun. Why do you gotta ally everybody, man? I was like... A couple months away from getting you as an ally. That's a bummer. Mm. We're just going to keep going with what we're going here. Surrender of Maine has happened, and there is no war, unfortunately. 
So uh, he is allied. He's rival to him. So it actually looks like we might be able to call him in <clears throat> with the promise of land. Um, and if that's the case, I'll do it. I, I'm not too concerned about that. All right, so we do have a little bit of points now. Not so sure. Maybe we should just kind of sit on it for a little bit. We're going to hold on to that for a little bit. Let us... Oh, such a bummer. Because as long as we're uh, allied to France, we're not going to get a very good relation with him. So he got the uh, Commonwealth formed. And he also got... Uh, nobody's gotten Moldavia yet. Before we uh, get too far into it, though, I do want to remind you to check out the Discord. Link's in the description. There's a bunch of great people over there, and we have multiplayer sessions weekly. If you want to get in on that, there's a channel dedicated to reservations. And if you're excited for the series, please just leave a like on the video. It honestly helps a ton. So it's the easiest way to show your support if that's um, something you're interested in. So Saxony would take Kandadiari. I am... Okay. So I might be able to do something with that. So let's do something a little cheesy. Let's get you guys down here as soon as we get out. Okay. And so we'll get him, these guys joined up. We don't have a leader. That's fine. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna have you guys join up. And then we are going to have you cancel mill access as he's walking in. And we'll get a nice little black flag. And then Assuming he still wants them. We can rent our army to him for 32 ducats. Very nice. Who are you or with anyways? Brunswick and Anhalt. So they're not going to send anybody down. So if that's the case, I'm just going to get you guys down here and uh, get a leader on there. Joffrey de Beau. Very good. Let's have you drill. Hey, cool. France has uh, influence nation on us. One monarch point in each um, in the category we currently have the lowest in, so that would be admin, I believe. Hey, very cool. Thank you, France. Very cool. So we're just waiting on these these claims. I think I would make my claim here, just because it would be the easiest one, and it's a fort. So let's actually see what, what we could do there. So we could. We totally could. Uh, Savoy, we would be able to take care of. Brittany, France would be able to take care of. So we do have a truce with them until when? 77. Does it say May of 77? Yeah. Alright, well I'm in no rush. So we got our claim. I don't care a whole lot about any of that. So let's actually improve relations with you. I do want to be friendly. Uh, yes, friendly. And that makes him more likely to be friendly. Because ideally... Hey, look at that. Free maneuver pip. Ideally, I can uh, <clears throat> join the, the HRE for the protection. That would be ideal. Um, oh, right. We can do our clicks now. So I can lose that. I don't actually have any points there. So, um, cool. We are going to move our capital over here because we are currently in the Champagne. And we're collecting a lot less. Only 0.7. And if we move down here, we can probably collect way more. Gonna need a little bit more there, but that's okay. Let's see here. Need a little bit more admin, so so they will be very disloyal. But if we turn right around and give them this, they should be pretty close to being loyal. So I think that's worth it. Um, and I always like having these guys nice and loyal. I'll give them that, and that'll give us a few extra points over here. Hundred sounds good to me, as well as contributions. Seek their support, and uh, I guess we'll just take it right now. They'll be a little disloyal, but it doesn't matter. We can switch our capital. And our trade income should go up slightly. 1.58. Hopefully up to something a little more reasonable, too. So that's good. I'll take that. And actually, with that, we can give the clergy on Jew now. It is cloth. So it's pretty good. And now everybody's loyal and uh, everything's good. Cool. 
uh, bring up our income a little bit from tax because now that they're loyal, we're gonna get a little boost. Perfect, and we're in the green. I like that. First couple episodes might be a little boring. No guarantees that we're gonna get anything really noteworthy done here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to join the Empire. What do we need to add these? Uh, 146. Yeah, we're probably not gonna be able to do that. <clears throat> Unless we can get an ally with him, he's not going to happen. That pretender rises, very cool. He is upset with me, so... I wonder why. It's almost like I'm drilling in my homelands while uh, in an offensive war with him. Well, rented out my mercenaries in an offensive war. Uh, so, submit to Roman's rule, I think that is... Okay. Poland had a nice strong start so far, and they're allied to Brandenburg. Typical stuff. <clears throat> Truce is up in May. So let's actually get our men over here. Oh, we need to get military access with you. And we can actually do a little bit of uh, spy network on you guys. We got the yearly tick, so that's good. Ideally, we're just going to hang out and um, be friendly to Austria until he's willing to ally us. So he did not ally Brittany, which is really good. So let's get you turned on just so you can get a couple months ticks. Because he'll probably join still. Yes, Brittany Savoy. Actually, speaking of that. Oh, poor guy. I'm getting eaten. He and I promised him I would help him. Filthy. All right, revoke that Kandadiari contract. Let's actually turn our army on as well. Probably should have done that. <clears throat> so Savoy probably has a decent army. Where they at here? Right here? They're higher than me. Yeah, they're even. Truce of their gone is up. And with that, we will declare for this. Let's see on. That being said, I am going to um mark these all as vital interests, so if he does get them, that he'll pass them off to me. I also want Malta. This will be the big one, because if I can get Malta, then I can get claims on Tunis really early. Uh, same with Kagalari and Cesari. Also, Fazan. Ooh. If I could get a no CB war on Fazan, it might be in my best interest. So the goal would honestly just be to piece these guys out very quickly. actually see if we can set something up over here a little so we're gonna go scorched earth and we're gonna march off and this is something I got from a Roomba so he's coming over here on the 22nd and I'm coming there there you go so he's locked in on the 22nd and I'll get there on the 21st meaning I will be the defender there is no river crossing which is good for him but it is hills make sure we got a good guy three shock is pretty good so that should be a good defensive battle for us very nice and let's get up on over here to Savoy he's probably gonna take Roussillon for himself uh, if he gets it which is fine I, I don't care a whole lot about that um, let's come over here we can do the same thing in Wallace or Wallace or however it's pronounced and uh, that'll be really good lost a decent chunk of men in that fight so, get a nice little stack wipe on that one stack there. Very good. So after we take this, <clears throat> excuse me, we can scorch the earth as well. It's only five mil, and it is super useful. I got this from a Roomba. So if you guys, most of you, I'm sure, are aware of who a Roomba is, but if you're not, definitely recommend it. So then what you do is you like, you know, leave some little vulnerable stack, like one, one little uh, partial stack of infantry on there. And he says, "Oh my goodness, this is a very enticing looking." little stack that I could kill. Let's see if he tries for it. It's looking like it. Very good. So... Yes, very good. And then I have my guys group up, and that little three stack just walks in and stack wipes themselves on mountains. And he might even try to join. He did not. But see, like, easy. Like, just killed 3,000 men for 
literally no effort. And meanwhile, France is doing all the sieges. Lorraine, I would rather you not break that siege though, good friend. All right, so let's do that again, see if we can get a little bit better of a fight going. Okay, so he will be there on the 16th of March, and we could be there 10th, 13th, sounds good to me. They actually might get a decent chunk of men up there. We actually have infantry combat ability. Speaking of that, let's see if we can discipline or morale. Let's go with high morale, see if we can get a nice cheeky stack wipe early on. That's what I'm talking about. And he's just going to keep on sending them up. Oh, no, he broke all them off. Fine. So check that out. Look at that. Easy. Just like that. They've lost... Brittany's lost 12,000. Well, that's mostly from France. But like, mm, you can't beat that. That's really good. Scorched Earth. OP. OP. Um, so the big ones I need to piece out is Savoy. So. France is now Papal Controller. I don't have any um, innovativeness, so I don't care a whole lot about losing some. When will you be there? 13th, and I can be there on the 22nd, so that one's gone. They actually might try to get over to me, so I'm going to actually run away from that one. Brittany might peace out soon. And I, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just take a white piece with them. Ideally, I should have annulled their alliances, but that's fine. I just want France to focus on down here. This first war can be pretty crucial because we need to take these lands, uh, these islands are going to be super, super important for us if we want to do some island hopping, right? Lorraine, I would rather you come hang out with me, brother. Okay. They're going to take that back. No, they're not. So they're marching away from it and I will just... I suppose post up over here and see if we can get some nice fights going on. That three stack looks pretty enticing. France, what are you doing? Brother. Oh, right, that's why. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> that was not what I was hoping for. So he's gonna siege down Roussillon, which is really good. I am looking for... No, go away. France, stop. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. Why you do this? Thank you. Go away. Okay, we are starting to siege down Savoy now. So this is good. So this little stack is very vulnerable. It would be in your best interest to see if you could... Very good. So he'll be there on the 1st of March and we would be there... Way before then. Alright. 24th of February is pretty good. Very good. And now we get Defender in the mountains, and we got our little five stack helping us out as well. Might be a stack wipe. No, very close though. I don't know if that's something I want to take. All right, but Savoy will peace out anyways. So we'll do that. Um, they're not a co-belligerent, so I will, I'll just humiliate them and take money. So I'm actually gonna see if they wanna... take uh, that and I will do that. It'll help us out financially. Seven ducats a month. Goodness gracious. So let's get you guys over here. Oh. Too soon. Gotta look at this. So the 20th of June. 15th of June. Wait a couple days. 17th of June. There you go. 18th of June. He's locked in. We get Defender in the Mountains again. River Crossing, like, he's he's honestly just suiciding at this point, you know? Just like that. So boy, brother, you're gonna want out, I promise. <clears throat> How many men has he lost? 12,000 men. How many men have I lost? 10. So, Savoy's lost why have I lost? I've lost a lot more than I thought. France has lost 25. Aragon's lost 24, though. That's the problem, though, is that he's getting all the war score. Because he's doing all the sieges and everything. Just let you guys lock in. You'll be there. 10th, and I can be there. On 
the ninth. Very good. They're going to lock in. Nope. Just that little one stack. I mean, honestly, I'll, I'll do this all day if that's what you guys want to do. So this 19th. So this is actually a decently big stack. Let's see if some of them back up. Nope. All right. Well, only one way to find out if we can win this one. Looks like we can. They're actually fleeing, so. See, like, look at that. They lost 1,700 cavalry. And he's actually fleeing. Where are you fleeing to? I could run down to Cuneo at least. So where are you fleeing to, man? That's weird. There's no land up there. You must be going over to Barwa or something. Interesting. Okay, anyways, let's get you out of the war here. And you will also give me war reps. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Doesn't matter if you want to or not. I don't think we can get there in time. No, we can't. Let's see if we can do the Scorch Earth trick with him again. Miltech 4 is gonna be pretty juicy. Uh, so let's see here. I don't want to fight that battle, so if I can get out of here, I will. Very good. Cool. Just like that. Game over for them. So, this war just got a whole lot easier. France has lost a ton of men, but doesn't matter a whole lot to me. Uh, taking out small loans, but it's not a... It's not going to be a game changer. I do need you guys to attach to me, though, because we are going to war. We're going to start fighting. Looks like they had just lost a fight over here. This guy doesn't have a general, though. So that's pretty good. I suppose you don't have to attach, but maybe... Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to get military access over here. Interesting. Okay, very good. Help me out. This is uh, not defensive, but we definitely have superior numbers and superior men, so... Don't have any innovativeness. Or actually, we do now. See, I just gave that up for no reason. Mobby. Cool. Alright, so I'll come over here. As long as I get this siege, that's that's all I care about. Uh, what's the button for that? Siege view. V. Oh, he got it. Feels bad, man. Alright, cool. Well, I'll just let him siege us in, because my manpower is uh, quite poopy. And I'll just hang over here. You guys can do that. My, uh... Oh, he's starting to get low enthusiasm. So let's see, like, what do we need for something like this? Like, just a couple of islands that'll allow me to get claims on most of this. 35. Hmm. Looks like we might actually have to, like, siege his capital if we want that. And we're not going to be able to actually control that land, but there's no fort, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Where's all this money coming from? All this debt. Reinforcements are that expensive. Goodness. Cool. I'll take free Diplo. Sounds good to me. France can just uh, win those sieges over time. No, wh why? Why would you break that siege? You freaking idiot. Oh, why are you like that? He just broke the siege randomly for no reason. Oh, it's infuriating. France. You dingus. All right. I'll keep my guys here, though. Apparently, I'm the one who's going to take over the siege. Uh, I really would rather him not attack me here, because this is hills. We have to... Mm. Please help me. Thank you. I can hold on for a couple days. Hopefully, I'm not losing too many men here. We're going to win. Oh... Let's just hold on here. I mean, I don't have any unrest, so this uh, war exhaustion isn't a huge deal, but goodness. Just need to win that siege, man. 29 day siege ticks. Feels bad, man. Lorraine's over here, sieging down him. So this is the war goal, so we're actually gonna get some, uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna, hmm. That'll be pretty good, actually. We're gonna get like 20 something. <clears throat> you have a lot of men taking attrition over here, but 
As long as France doesn't peace out, his war exhaustion is pretty high. My general died, which is a bummer. Come on now. I'll just try to siege him down. Eh, we'll have to take this Huesca. If we want. Come on now. We'll have to take Huesca if we want to get to his capital, Valencia. So that's probably not going to happen. Win! Oh, win! Please. Paradox, please. Please. There we go. Alright. So, we can actually probably do that peace deal, and that'll be really good, because we'll be able to get claims on basically all of this. Because <clears throat> the idea is, you want to get into the Mamluks before the Ottomans can get to them. And that's going to be uh, super helpful in that. So, let's see if we can get some help sieging down Wesca. Couple of rebels, of course. <clears throat> the siege, um... Spy network is helping, but... Still, it's huge. I mean, I can take a... It's not negligible. I mean, I do have 10,000 men over here, so I will probably split you guys off and have you come over here. For some reason, it sent. They can run up here to Roussillon. I actually got that, too. So if I take that, France won't be upset because I didn't prom I promised him land, but then I marked it as vital interest. So I can actually get this peace deal. Release Catalonia, reconquest later on, and we're good to go. Uh, I'm not going to take any money because I can't. And there we go. That's it. And check this out. No distrust. Extra trust. So... Very good. We are going to uh, do a quick little buy down there just because I don't want to pay full price for all this stuff. And we're also going to uh, certainly increase that. So I'm pretty sure there's a button. I installed a mod that is supposed to increase autonomy, but it doesn't look like we got it. So I'm going to get all that turned up. And uh, this one will actually just immediately release here. So you my friend, are going to release... Oh, I could totally release a couple of people. I could release all of these vassals if I wanted to. There's an idea. I definitely want to keep one of them, though, at least Malta. Sicily would probably be a worthless vassal, but they would just help with... Now, we're just going to go with Catalonia because he's got the reconquest. Uh, very good. He is merchant and light ship cost, so he's not going to be too helpful as far as a march goes, so... Let's actually get you guys joined up over here. Goodness gracious. All those loans. Cool. All right. Well, that'll do it for the first episode. Hope you guys are excited for the series. I know I am. We made a really good opening move here um, that expands our reach a ton in the Mediterranean. So if you uh, want to see some more of this, you can subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Discord. Links in the description down below. And I do have a Patreon if you guys so uh, feel so inclined to support me on there. There's a link in the description for that as well. But with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. I'd like to give a big special shout out to Classified for Life, Lemongrass Bob, Miner Joe, and TM Raw for their awesome support on Patreon. You guys are awesome. If you guys want to see some more of this series, it's going to be linked there in the top right corner. And below that will be another one that I think you guys might want to check out. If you haven't already, click the little subscribe button in the middle of the video. And that's all I got. Catch you guys later.